The following screenshots have been made money-wise because of this X Recorder app. If you want to find out how to use this app to pull in the Benjamins like I've been doing for years, then stay tuned. What's up everyone and welcome to another video produced by The App Lifestyle. This is the place where we cover a variety of websites and apps that can help you in your endeavors to make money online or just in general. In this video we're going to be giving a tutorial on how to use the X Recorder app for Android. For those of y'all that are wondering, this is actually the app that I use to record video footage on when it comes to my phone. So you want to start out by downloading the X Recorder app. If you don't have it downloaded, just go to the App Store, type in X Recorder, and it'll pop up. Obviously, I already have it, so it's just asking me to open the app. But if you don't, it will have an install button that you can use to install. Next, we're going to open the app, and you'll be taken to the home screen. Ironically, you can see that it's recording the home screen right now and counting down. If I wanted to stop this recording, I could just press the stop button or press the pause button, but uh, we're not going to do that yet. We're going to cover exactly what are the options are. So as you see, if you've recorded anything, it is saved inside the app and also in your phone's gallery. You can change this in the settings if you want, but uh, just keep in mind that a copy of it will be in the app, and if at any point it starts to fill up like mine is almost full you see it's uh, over 50 gigabytes you just press that trash icon in the top right hand corner with that being said there's an icon that you can move you can see on the screen here that shows up when you record if i press this icon you'll have an option to pause to stop or to edit since i'm recording the record option isn't there but under normal circumstances the record option would be there so you can start recording via that if i scroll down on my phone i have the option to pause and stop or access the tools like that as well let's get that out the way if you press the plus icon you have the option to change a few things such as adding a voice changer or gesture control now um, i don't recommend playing around with the voice changer but uh if you want to by all means and you even have the option to live stream if you so desire. You can live stream on YouTube if you wanted to. I think StreamYard is still better, but it is an option. If we click on the photo icon, we see that we have an option to take photos with this app as well. We click on the marker icon at the bottom right hand corner. It gives us a variety of options. First off, you can use this as a video editor too. So if I click on video edit and click on any one of these uh, videos, then uh, hit the arrow. I can actually start editing this video, adding music, adding text, or adding stickers and filters. So just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna put GTA, since that's what this uh, clip is. And I've officially added something to this clip. I could also add music if I wanted to. Keep in mind that you'll need to supply the music. Next, I'll add a uh, sticker, since this is a, a funny type video and hit the check mark then click save so if i go into my gallery we see the video that i just worked on which is pretty cool going back to the app you can uh, do the same thing with a photo just click on edit photo and you can edit the properties you can also merge video and photo and create like an overall new project where you can edit both a video edit a photo combine them and have uh, your own project which is a uh, pretty useful if you're in client services as a video editor or if you're a youtuber backing out of that we're not going to talk about video comforts because uh, that's a paid feature and uh, i'm not covering paid features but it's covering uh things that are on this app for free so if we click on the wrench icon at the bottom right hand corner we can start playing around with the settings you can change the audio settings Right now, everything is coming through a microphone, but if I wanted to, I could uh, change it to internal audio. So let's say if there's a video in my gallery that I wanted that audio recorded into a video, I would switch this setting to internal audio or internal audio and microphone. I don't need to do that right now, but it's definitely good to know. And you can change the uh, volume of the microphone below as well. 
backing out of that the orientation allows you to switch between landscape or portrait i can't switch in the middle of recording a video obviously but i'm pretty sure you get what that feature has in terms of value and if we scroll down you can change the recording mode from normal to performance mode and vice versa basically performance mode has less of a chance of anything going wrong in terms of uh crashing but i've never used performance mode before i've always used normal and i haven't had a problem with that so i would just recommend using a normal and lastly if we click on the question mark in the top right hand corner this is the faq section that's always being updated with this app so if you have any other questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below where i'll uh, definitely address them but you can also check the FAQ section in the app because there's a good chance that the creators of the app have already addressed this question if it's been asked a lot. So you can check that FAQ section. Backing out of that, that pretty much covers everything that this app has to offer. It can be pretty useful in terms of just editing videos and also recording videos. And if you're like me, you saw in the screenshots, I've used this free app to make a lot of money throughout the years. So it definitely has a lot of value when it comes to screen recording. That does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And if you haven't subscribed and you're new, consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification if you want to be notified when more tech type videos come out covering apps or software. And if you found value in this video, giving it a thumbs up would be very much appreciated. Helps with the algorithm. I'll catch you in the next video. This is Elijah out. Be safe, be profitable.